Summer is coming, which means you're probably going to be spending a lot of time out in that sun. You know the drill, wear sunscreen, but there are some things you likely don't know about melanoma here with us this morning. It's Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, melanoma is one of the deadliest cancers there is, so we need to talk about it. What, tell me who is at highest risk of this type of cancer? Really, everyone is at risk for melanoma. However, certain subtypes of skin are more at risk. So individuals who are fair skinned, lighter eyes, lighter hair are more prone to any form of skin cancer and melanoma. The thing about melanoma is it's not only due to sun exposure, it's a genetic disease as well. So that's why it can be found between the toes, under the nails, and why everyone is truly at risk. Also, if you've used a tanning bed, you've increased your lifetime risk of melanoma by about 75%. Have you also increased your risk if you've had blistering burns? Yes, absolutely. Blistering sunburns are a huge risk factor for any form of, of skin cancer. What do you do if you see something suspicious? Or how do you know if something looks suspicious? You need to really keep it a close eye on all of your body or do you really need to go get checked by a dermatologist every year? Both. So we tell patients you want to perform a monthly self-skin exam, which means you look at every part of your body and I often say you know get a relative mm -hmm. get your husband a child a cousin someone to look at your back in areas you can't see but you're looking for the A B C D and E's which are asymmetry of color irregular border increasing diameter and evolution which is the most important something new changing bleeding hurting that was fine before and we always think about moles when when or some type of bump or something what what do you suggest that we're so doing? you want to look for an ugly duckling if uh. you have a lot of moles and of course the more moles you have the more you are at risk for a melanoma but you want to look for the ugly duckling if you have a lot of moles the one that stands out or is changing also bruises that don't heal because melanomas can come in many colors. If you're seeing something black and brown that becomes blue or red, that can be a sign. Also under the nail, you want to look for a black or brown streak. And you want to catch it as soon as possible because then you have a chance. Otherwise, it, it, it can be too late. It can spread. Can That's it? the most important and exciting and interesting thing about skin cancer and melanoma. It's really the only kind of skin cancer that you can see and catch yourself and catch early, which is why early detection is so important because melanoma can be deadly, but if caught early enough, it can be 100% curable. There are some new advancements that can help protect you. There's even a pill you can take now. Tell me right. about this. What is it? So HelioCare is an incredible new product. It's actually been around for several years, but is gaining more momentum as it's being marketed. It's a very, very potent antioxidant derived from a Honduran fern extract, and you want to take it once a day and if you're going to be in the sun all day long, you can take a second one around lunchtime. So I have my patients who've had a skin cancer, mm -hmm. who work out in the sun, have a pool, or play a lot outdoors, take one every day. Okay, and this is something that you can only get at the dermatologist's office right now. You right? can get it at the dermatologist's office online, and some drugstores do have it. It's about 50 cents a day to take it. All right, we appreciate your help today. Thanks, Dr. Ingraham, for coming in. Thank you for having Excellent me. information that could even save lives. I hope people will take it seriously. Thanks.